everyone. Here we go. Hola, aloha, ciao, salut, ni hao, namaste, ohayu, yagamasma, zdrasuche, privit, buna, jindabri, siestok, hello, sin ciao, yabasio, teres, salu alaikum, sasiaka, marhaban, merhaba, habiri, shalom, wherever you are across the world. Thank you for joining me. My name is Brunel, so she's Saido. I've got a, a foundation out. It's been out since about September, I think. I did have my eye on it, but then. I forgot about it so i finally got around to getting this foundation it is my first item from this particular brand is a japanese based uh, brand and but i kind of like kept an eye on some of their stuff it is high end to be honest um and let's just say prior to this eh, their foundation shade range was a little bit less inclusive um, um but you know credit what credit is due they've been improved and they've expanded their range um so you have to kind of uh, you know acknowledge that when companies are doing something that you want them to do however for me personally and by the way if you want to skip straight to demo look below here but i just wanted to say that for me personally, they still have a bit of work to do. I mean, it's great that they've expanded on the, on the range, but if you're selling complexion products, then this doesn't just go for them. I think I've mentioned this before. Brands, if you are selling complexion products, you need to put a bit more information online uh, to make it easier for your customers to be able to buy your products because it's, it was very hard trying to find the right shade for me or you because they didn't have any information about the actual shade range themselves. No information about the undertone no um, specific model showing uh, the foundation being worn so it made it very difficult and then when i contacted them via their um instagram page basically i got the answer of you need to go in store and get shade match but now for me i checked already i bought mine for debenhams they don't have a store anywhere here where they've got it um in store i've contacted the customer service and the nearest one is in manchester and i'm in london i am not traveling to manchester what two hours three hours away just to go and get on a train that is um just to go and get a, a foundation i don't need that that badly so i've chosen this foundation and i'm hoping that it is the, the right shade by the way um if you are dark like me we're talking two shades lighter than me then you're looking at level five it's got uh, uh, different levels and it goes up to level number five and um, there are two shades prior to mine there is 510 and 520 as well so if you are two shades lighter you're looking at level number five and you've got some ideas there are three more shades after uh, level uh, five uh, shade 530 so that gives you some idea of um you know uh, the shade range as well so it goes up to i think is 570 don't quote me on that let's just see quickly what uh, it says that you're supposed to be able to get from this foundation it is it minimizes appearance of pores imperfections smoothing breathable non-creasing formula long wearing natural finish satin matte finish okay long lasting finish at medium to full coverage spf 30 usually when it's got spf it just goes a bit pear shaped but which is a good thing great for the summer um does not contain oil fragrance dermatologically tested non comedogenic and also has a volume of uh, uh, contains 30 mil uh, a so a flawless finish that lasts 24 hours that skin looks and feels fresh all day weightless comfort blendable buildable all day um hydration waterproof smudge proof humidity resistant um transfer resistant mm, okay test results at 94 percent of women agreed the foundation felt comfortable on their skin so there you have it that's quite a bit transfer proof mm, uh waterproof okay smudge proof okay um anyway so that's that um we are going to get started so just so you are interested if you're interested the packaging is like so that's the outside packaging itself and then the bottle is like so it has a pump here so you press it here and of course it's got the brand on the side there shiseido very runny it gets soaked into the brush very very quickly i have no idea if this shade is going to be the right one or not oh my god by the way look at my nose if you're looking at my face and looking around the nose and you saw this white bit it is not um what you're thinking 
it is the, the primer that's dried out the primer that i've got on my face i've got the uh, rimmel stay matte uh, all over but it's more moisturizing than anything else and then in the middle center of my face i've got um nyx uh, can't stop one stop formula which dries out and that's why i've got white patches all over my face okay okay well okay there's a there's a smell to this foundation straight away oh okay shade match Ooh. Ooh, shade match shade match oh okay coverage it's very very natural but it feels very very thin i mean this is more light rather than medium coverage shade match wise perfect shade match to my face only problem is and, and difference between here and there but you know what uh, once I, I do highlighting and stuff like that um it should look better it is definitely a satin matte finish um now i'm uh, i can see here it's got you can see a little bit of a sheen on my face um but yeah I'm going to go over it with, it's not necessary actually, as you can see, whilst one layer, but I'm going to see if I can, it does say it's buildable. So I'm going to try and put another layer on and this is what the actual foundation looks like. Okay, these are two layers and I prefer this finish. I am a sponge person through and through. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna go and finish off the rest of my face. It is now 1.41 in the afternoon. Et voila, my face is finito. Uh, quick rundown of the stuff I'm wearing on my face, on the eyes, that is, um, I've got the um, Anastasia Beverly Hills um, Jackie Ina palette. And I went over with this shade here, which is uh, ginger. And then I went after that with uh, credit on the outer corner of the eye. So this one in my crease line and then credit on the outer corner of the eye. And then I finish it off with this shade here. Uh, oh, okay, which is uh, sponsored all over the lid. Actually in the center, I put a little bit of uh, trust issues as well, the center. And this is the eye makeup look, and I just went over at the bottom with credit as well. Um, powder wise, oh, actually, a concealer. I used the Too Faced concealer in a color chestnut, and uh, to set everything underneath my eyes, I used this powder. It's the, yeah, I know, Jeffree Star powder. I bought it a, a long time ago. I've not finished it, and I am going to finish it. Um, and I just set uh, the highlighted area and dusted it off. Um, on the lids, um, on the eyeliner, I've got the Huda Beauty Life Liner video coming up on Wednesday uh, about this. I've had it for about a week, so I'm going to have about a week and a half's worth of uh, kind of information to give you guys. Um, and then um, after that, I actually use the L'Oréal Paris um, Too Much Powder. And this is in the color number 10W, I believe. Um, yeah. So that's the shade, the, the color shade. Um, and then I just uh, kind of uh, sprayed everything there with uh, the Urban Decay D Sleek uh, spray. Um, and on the lips, I can't find it here, but it was the Bobbi Brown lip liner in the color chocolate, I believe. Um, and then I've, this is a new one for me, which is the L'Oreal again, um, which is the ultra matte, um, color rich, ultra matte lip um, lipsticks. Um, and this is in the color No Shame. Um, it is a very, very pretty shade, very dark skin friendly, but you do definitely need to line up your lips. Um, and I've got that. It, it's actually a really good formula. Although it says ultra matte, it is not drying on lips at all. Um, and this is what it looks like. I love the shade. Look at it. Mm -mm -mm, with some lip gloss and ooh. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Uh, but never mind that. Okay. 
the uh, foundation itself takes really well to powders um it kind of it takes about a minute or two for the powder whatever you put in for it to get absorbed into the skin i still have like a sheen on my face so i'm not too sure how well this is going to last but we need to kind of wear it for about six hours there about to be able to see what it's like but i do now like the, the finished look with my own personal powders things are now match a little bit better um than it did before so i will be using this foundation come when what may i've spent money on it um so yeah the, otherwise this will be the third foundation that i'll end up uh, not using after buying uh that's not a good thing but that's enough yapping i shall see you guys in about five six hours time and hopefully i won't look as greasy as anything um but um yeah let me know what you guys think good evening my wonderful people and my my people um it is now nine minutes past eight in the evening so i've had this on for six hours and a bit something like that and this is what my face looks like you can see i'm getting ready for the evening because the wig is off <laughs> yeah um i need to get my outfits and everything sorted out for tomorrow for work otherwise you can forget i'll be late for work trying to work out what to wear in the morning but never mind that i'm rambling on um yeah this is what my face looks like i have not blotted at all uh top temperature has been as high as the dizzying heights of 16 degrees today although to be honest it's been so windy it has not felt anything like 16 degrees honestly it hasn't um uh, but this is what my face looks like without blotting without any touch-ups without anything at all and i think actually it is a fantastic performance after about six hours of wear um of course my nose is as shiny as anything oh, and that's no surprise um but um yeah it's not bad the foundation itself is not um separated it's actually very very good performance i'm quite impressed um actually most of my face is still dry it's only really my nose and around the corner of my nose which is uh, super shiny my forehead most of it is still okay i've got little sections here where it's a bit shiny um but for something that was a class as a satin matte i was expected a lot more shine than this i mean this year to be fair uh it had a highlighter there so you've got to leave that one aside but i i think it's actually really really good so i'm just going to quickly double check um because he said it was transfer kind of proof or or transfer resistant and i'm not going to check the waterproof part of it because uh, I, i'm not the type of person to put full face of makeup on and then <laughs> jump in the water although uh it'll be raining like a <laughs> like god has been on a piss up uh <laughs> all of next week um so i might have to rethink that theory but i'll have an umbrella but for now let's just test and see how much transfer you can get uh off of the foundation here we are plain white tissue so you can see and now i'm just gonna dab a little bit okay and a little bit you can see there's there's a little bit of transfer there uh it's not bad i'm just gonna try and apply that all over my face see if actually the foundation comes off if it breaks uh breaks down and breaks apart or stays intact okay so it hasn't separated in fact it looks really really nice um but there is clearly transfer as you can see but it's not bad at all and this is what my face looks like um obviously i think it will look better if i went over it with a, a brush but um yeah it's actually stayed in places that it's actually really really nice i am um, listen i <laughs> i hands down this might not be a perfect foundation for summertime which is a shame because obviously it's got spf protection there as well which will go really well to help you out but honestly as a winter shade that this is a beauty of a, of, a, of a shade and i actually am quite happy with uh, the actual shade match itself i think i moaned or, or something might mention something about undertone there was nothing wrong with it at all it, it sort of takes a little bit of time to settle into the skin and become one with your skin so it warmed up a lot more than i was expecting it to uh, expecting it or after i initially put it on um and i am really happy with that foundation uh shade itself and I, i'm just uh, listen go get yours by the way 
um the offer i think is 39 pounds something the foundation is a normal price but if you buy it from debenhams you can get about three pounds off so it's about 35 pounds something and also obviously if you're a debenhams uh, member you can collect points as well so that's one of saving or just shop online because i think i've seen them uh, a bit cheaper elsewhere as well um so yeah i'm go and get it i am so happy i discovered this i am a happy 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 bunny and uh, yes now <clears throat> i need to go and get ready okay people